solving this case today, all right? Hot dates, dinner plans, cancel them. Four days ago, Keita Gregory and Holly Montero went missing. Today, we find out why, where, and how. Bobby, every morning's got to be the same shit with you. Why can't you just be happy with the route that I give you? It's always got to be a damn issue with you. It's because you give me the shit routes. Ever since that stupid little fender bender I've been in, you would treat me like shit and you know it. I've been here 10 years. You should be giving the long order to the new guys. Just please give it to the dykes. Hey. Look, Bobby, this is the second time you've referred to us as dykes. The third time you do it, I'm gonna rip off your little nutsack, hang it from my rear view mirror, so every time I get your shitty ass routes, I can punch you in the testicles. You like that? I haven't had my coffee yet. Don't fuck with me. Yep. This sucks. Can you say traffic? Yeah, but we're going to New Jersey. We can hit up that strip club I was telling you about on the way back. What was that called again? <sighs> I forget. Ooh, I think it was called Cheerleaders. Mm. Strip club, huh? <laughs> you guys are into that. <laughs> There's so many things you don't know about me and Holly. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
You know, Kita, as much as I like to fire you, you give me many reasons not to. Oh, yeah, and by the way, you got a new trainee in the truck. Come again? Uh, trainee. Oh, a, a what? A, like a new hire. Seriously, Harry? It's yeah. the last day before the holidays. I get stuck with the shitty ass Jersey route, and now I'm also training somebody. Merry Christmas to me. Sleigh bells ring on my doorstep. I hear the Santa's not too far. So and you must be my trainee. Oh. <laughs> I see you brought your own lunch. That's so cute. That's adorable, actually. Uh, I bet it has your name on it, too. Nope, doesn't have your name on it. Hmm. What's your name? I'm Cotter. Kita. Holly. What's up? Have you ever driven one of these things before? No. Good, because nobody drives my truck. So you're going to be with us half the day then? Uh, yeah. Harry told me someone's coming around two or three. So I'm just going to hop in with him. Awesome. Thank you. Six fifteen a.m. December twenty second. We officially have the shittiest route today, and we'll be crammed in like sardines thanks to our new lovely trainee, Copper. Thank God for this four-day break coming up. Um, it's Cotter. Yeah, that's what I said. Seriously? You've been recording your entire life since, what, like, eighth grade now? My mom did it for me, so I'm doing it for my kids. Shut up. Forget it. Let's just go. Hey, give me some ice. Holly. Yo, Holly. Wake up. Wake up or I'm gonna kiss you again. Okay, I'm up, I'm up, God. All right, I'm about to stop and get some diesel. After I'm done fueling up, you're driving, hope. It's Holly. That's what I said. Did you get my message? What message? I thought you were getting your hair and your nails done. Setting up the Christmas tree. Well, I'm sorry, I have to work, and Harry said that he might give us our Christmas bonuses today. I told everybody we had a big announcement to make. It's really important to me. Plus, Mom's gone all out with the food. Yeah, well, I just hope that she still has an appetite after you tell her that we're going to get married. Shut up. You know she loves you. Just promise me you'll get done early today. Skip lunch if you have to. I know Kida, world's most unpredictable female. God only knows what she's capable of. Babe, relax. I've been with Kida for a while now, and have I had any problems yet? She beat up a nun in a McDonald's parking lot on your first day. We didn't even know that Lady was a nun. She didn't have the whole penguin get up thing going on. Hello? Hello? Great. Hey! Mm. Guess who's turning it is to drive? Ha ha ha, fine, fine. Uh, Stop uh, it! Kia, uh, give me. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> you brat. Did you bring your charger? I'm using it for my GPS right now. Well, I just talking about Scott, so that's perfect. Who? Scott. Who? Really, Kita? Sorry, I don't like your dorky boyfriend. Okay, well, he's my fiance, so get used to it. <laughs> oh, swell. After this, they made a few deliveries. All the times are accurate with the computer, as well as the drop points. And according to the phone records, there was two phone calls made. One from Holly's phone to her boyfriend, Scott, and one from Kita's phone to her sister's house. But there wasn't a connection there, so I'm assuming there was no one home. Okay, so that means we're clear from about 6.30 a.m. until 10.30 a.m. Run um, May 1. What the hell is Run Me, New Jersey? Run Me? I have no idea why. It's our last stop. Ice Unlimited. Shit. What? I gotta pee. What? What? We just left, Hallie. Are you. Are you kidding me well, right I now? I don't feel it then. I feel it now. Sorry. Feel it? What do you mean feel it? Like, oh, I didn't feel pee running down my oh, leg just now? <laughs> you're disgusting first off. But no, pee as in if I don't pee now, I'm going to burst. So do not piss on my seat. If you piss on my seat, I'm going to punch you in the face, Hallie. Fine. Get out. What? Should, 
Should I just like go in the back? Go in the go in the back. People shit back there. Okay, you can't oh, go uh, back there. All right. Just God. go in the woods. There's oh, nobody around. Right, we'll keep watch that. Oh, such a god. <laughs> Hello, little one. <clears throat> I am an alien from outer space. I'm here to do things to your mother. <laughs> I mean, no way. She's taking a tickle in the woods. This is inappropriate. I hope you're 16. Oh my gosh. You see, sometimes when grown ups. What? <gasps> Howdy. Duty. You ladies okay? Oh, we just chilling, you know. Like it says on the door. You work for this company? You the driver? Um, our driver is in the back. She's in the woods. Uh, she's taking a piss right now. She'll be back real soon, though. Okay, I see. Okay, just wanted to make sure you weren't in any kind of distress. What are you carrying? Oh, my gun? Yeah, that's at home. My boss doesn't let me bring that on the job. He says, yo, Kida, you're carrying ice, not money. What you need a gun for? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, do you mean in the back? Oh, that's just, you know, the usual. We, we, we deliver frozen shit, you know. There's a bunch of, I think, just ice, ice, and you guessed it. More ice back there. So. You ladies have a good day. Enjoy your holiday. Yeah, you, you too, too officer. officer. You stay warm. You okay, ma'am? Hey, uh, yeah, everything's good. Just a quick walk, you know, long drive. It's okay. You gotta go, you gotta go. You're not in any trouble. Have a Merry Christmas, yes? You too, have a good day. You seriously told the cop I had to pee? I told the cop you were pissing. <laughs> I believe you're the one that said, oh, don't worry, no one's around. <laughs> it's all fun and games till the cop shows up. Yeah, right. <laughs> Kita. I didn't touch it, I swear. Wasn't me. <laughs> I didn't touch it. So that's when Collins first saw them. That's correct. And Cotter was still with them? Yes. What were they wearing at that time, officer? Well, at this point, Kita had not yet changed into shorts. Uh, she was wearing jeans. Holly was the same, Carla was the same. It's freezing outside. Why would anybody put booty shorts on? I don't know, it just, it doesn't add up. Maybe she spilled something on her, or... Do all women carry around an extra pair of booty shorts these days in their back pocket? <laughs> Girls like Kita do. I went to AC, I was in this friggin' hotel. I was in the bathroom taking a dump, right? I couldn't get out of the goddamn thing. Are you kidding me? I swear to God, I had to kick the fucking door open. It was stuck. Oh my God. Sir? Yeah, what is it? What do you want? Deluxe Bakery called. Keita and Holly haven't showed yet. Yeah, well, you're the dispatcher, so. Why don't you try to get them on the radio or something? I'll go do that. Yeah, good idea, huh? You see what I gotta go to? Ah, she likes you. Huh? Definitely, it's all over her face. Yeah, but she can get it. <laughs> you have him sign right here. Thank you, everyone. And that's it. He calls every five minutes. It's so annoying. If you don't just call him, I'm giving him your new number because it's starting to interrupt my life now. That's just because it's fresh. We just broke up like, what, two weeks ago? Do not, please do not give him my new number. It took me forever to get rid of him. Uh, okay, so now it's my problem to deal with? I don't think so. Fix it, Kita. All right, all right, I'll take care of it. I'll just, I don't know, I guess I'll just call him from Holly's phone or something. And your brother's coming home from the Navy tonight, so make sure you're here on time and bring a gift. Don't be cheap. Gotcha, gift. Clear. That goes to dispatch. They know that we cleared the order. We're going to the next stop, and that's it. Easy enough. Right. What's next? I don't know, but you're driving. <laughs> Deluxe Bakery is looking for a little girl. Well, 
Hotel Deluxe Bakery, they're just gonna have to wait. Fortunately, we're driving a delivery truck and not a freaking NASCAR. Besides, Holly had some bladder issues. Yeah, it was pretty bad, actually. And this is why I don't call them myself. Okay, before I turn this key, Holly, do you have to take a piss? No, and why do you have to be so bold and unladylike about it? Why can't you just say pee or urinate? Why hey. does it always have to be piss? I'm just call it like I see it, little lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cotter, piss. All right, we rolling. Hey, Michelle, do me a favor. It's Tommy at Ice Unlimited. Could you pass me through to Harry, please? Ice Unlimited on line one. Tommy. Hey, Harry, can I cancel that load for this afternoon, that order? It's kind of crazy on my dock today. It's insane. I have stuff all over my dock. Hold on a second. What are you, nuts? Blocking that door? The fire marshal's a real prick. He's gonna close me down. You know what he's like. The girl's already halfway through Jersey. It'd be hard to cancel that order now. Don't worry, I got just the guy for the job. All right, I'll talk to you later. Congratulations. I got a delivery coming later tonight. You just earned yourself some overtime. Merry Christmas. Come on, Tommy. You know I'm getting some ass for Christmas? What about this perfectly good white guy here? Ah! I hope Santa gets you herpes for Christmas. No, I don't want much for Christmas. So please don't get me wrong. Because all I need is a hand to hold. Lips to kiss under the mistletoe. Hi, can I help you? Yeah. I got some shit for you. You're loading back to back up. Can I just drop it off here? Excuse me? I'm sorry. We have a delivery for you guys, and you are a bit backed up back there, so and we're kind of in a rush. We just need a signature, and uh, we just drop the wax off. I see. Well, if we let all the delivery drivers just drop stuff off here, then this would be a warehouse, not a bakery, wouldn't it? Well, that went well. Mm, Watch and learn, baby girl. Excuse me, can I have uh, one of those jelly donuts back there? Sure. Give me a big, juicy, ripe one. Dollar fifty. Oops. I'm sorry. Guess we'll just go way back in the line. Thanks. You have got to be shitting me. Hey, where are you going? I'm getting a signature. Wait here. Um, excuse me. Um, I have some boxes for you on the dock. I just need your signature. No entiendo. No español. No speak English. Uh, boxes. Boxes. I have boxes for you on dock. Need sign. You sign? No you sign. No. No entiendo. No? Okay. Um. <clears throat> Uh, El Boxo, on El Daco, you sign -o. comprende? No comprende, I don't know. Uh, no uh, comprende? No, comprende? No, no, uh, no habla inglés. <sighs> okay, um, boss? Boss around, maybe boss? boss? 4K boss. No, boss? no, no boss? No, no boss. <laughs> no boss, you know. No. I don't know what the fuck to do with these guys. Excuse me, what can I do for you girls? Oh my gosh! Oh, oh you speak God. English! Yes. yes, yes, Okay, yes. I have, uh, we have some packages for you on the dock. Okay. I just need you to sign here. Sure, no problem.
And thank you. Be thank careful. You. All right, thank Happy you. Holidays. You too. Up high. Down low. Wait, down low. Ha, ah, too slow. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Nice. Nice. She can get it. Bakery said they left approximately around 2 p.m. And Kita still hasn't changed yet? Not yet. The description he gave us matched what Officer Collins had described from the traffic stop. According to Harry, he also spoke to them around that time. So everything from 6.30 a.m. until 2 p.m. is accounted for. There doesn't seem to be any huge gap in travel, uh, maybe a bite to eat, a gas fuel up. We're taking a piss on the side of the road. <clears throat> I never did get that uh, dash cam footage, Officer Reed. Why is that? Because there is no footage. And why not? Well, this wasn't a traffic stop. Officer Collins never turned on his overhead lights. He said he pulled over a vehicle that he thought was disabled and called in the tags. There was nothing more. No body cam? No. The department doesn't have those yet. Hold on. Did I not give you Officer Collins' report? Because in it, it clearly states exactly what he saw and exactly what occurred. Am I done here? It was just a question. Right. But you're free to go. And I do have your report. Good day, gentlemen. Why do you have to keep calling my house? Get it through your head, Mike. It's over. It's over because why? Because I object to you having a girls' night out three nights a week? No, it's over because I want it to be over. I know you're fucking seeing someone, Kita, And I'll let you know I'll fucking kick his ass, too. There's no one else. But I really wish there was because I would just love to use that as another excuse. Why do you have to be such a douchebag all the time? Move on and quit calling my damn house. I swear to God, Kita, don't make me do some stupid shit. So it's 3 p.m. Typical day. Kita is totally fighting with her psycho boyfriend. We have one stop left to go, thank God, and then this day is over. Hey, is everything okay? No. But hey, give me some ice. Good job today. Thanks. It's easy shit, right? Yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting. Piece of dust job, you know? That is true. Hey, Kita, you got a package for me? Yep, it's a hot one, too. Oh. Sure is. You ready? Sure am. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't go yet. Oh, God, I'm feeling this Shut up! Day. Come on! It's memories! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cooter's first day. So corny. <laughs> <laughs> Cooter! <laughs> All right, you've earned it. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, girl. We'll see you around. Later. Hey. Bye. Happy holidays, guys, and uh, good luck with that boyfriend thing. Thanks. Go ahead, Harry. So what do you think about Carter? She's a good fit for the job or what? Yeah, she's, she's actually pretty cool. Hey, we're, we're about to go grab some lunch. Well, it looks like you guys should make a good time, but I'm not going to be here when you get back. So I'll just leave your Christmas bonuses with the show, all right? All right, sweet. Now we're talking money, money, money. Woo! Thank God. I was so worried we weren't getting anything. We're ahead of schedule. Let's just stop at a diner. No, no, get no, no, no. Eat. Celebrate. Kita, no, come on. Scott, I, Scott is gonna kill me if I'm not home by seven. So just let's just go to the next drop. If we're only 30 minutes from Runi Run Runamid. Yes, Runamid. We'll be back by seven. And so what if you're a little late? You should never let a guy control you like that ever. 
Um, I'm marrying Scott. Who? Scott. Who? Really, Kita? You threatened her, Michael. I didn't threaten her. According to this witness nearby, you did. That's what they heard. All I said was something like, don't make me be stupid. I don't know, something like that. But it wasn't a threat. Don't make me be stupid? You're gonna tell us that's not a threat? Define stupid for us, Mike. Define attorney to me, Detective Black. Yes. Kieran and Gregory? That's right. Hi, I'm Officer Reed. If you don't mind, I have a few questions to ask. I, uh, I already talked to the investigators a few days ago. What more do you need? I, I understand that. But if you don't mind, I promise it won't take long. Yeah, sure. Come on in. Thank you. Bar? Really? I need a shot real quick. <coughs> Wait, what? A shot? Seriously? Driving? What? Fuck my life? Uh, you're driving from here on out, not me. <laughs> Find this at home, huh? She's in practice. You know what the book You know what the fucking book of this shit? You know see this? Why does book look like here last time? What do you think you're doing? Are you stupid? Are you fucking stupid? Huh? You know he's gonna do it when he comes back. Do you know what he's gonna do? You know what he's gonna do? What can I get for you girls? Um. I guess I'll just have a Coke and some fries. To go. Please. Thanks. And for you, honey? Same thing. I told you. I told you. Uh, undefeated fool. I run this table. Who's next? I wish we had time. I'd better whip his ass on that table. Yeah, well, we don't have time. We have to get the next drop by five, okay? We agreed. We're getting our food. Get out of here. No, okay? you agreed. I'm in no rush. Your fries will be right out. Thank you. Well, I got 25 right here. Problem solved. are clear. You did not just clear that drop. I did. You didn't. I did. You know that they're gonna call Harry and then you're stuck in this big ass lie and I just, shh. Hi, uh, this is Keita calling with your order from Just Chillin'. I I'm good, thank you, thank you. Uh, listen, we're stuck in some major traffic here. Car flipped over or some shit like that. We're gonna be about an hour late. I is it okay if, if somebody stays a little bit later? Perfect. Thank you so much. There is seriously something wrong with you. What the hell are you doing? Getting redneck, baby. Everybody, do you know? Is this huh? Where is it? This is where you lose. Did you see that? Let it go.
go. It's not your fight. That man is hitting that woman for no reason. Uh, you don't even know if they have a reason. He has a good reason. No, no man has a reason to touch a woman like that ever, Holly. Let it go, okay? Finish the goddamn game because we've got to get the hell out of here. Well, 50 bucks, Barbie doll. But if you want, you can just grab a beer and uh, back to my place and call it even. Ew, you're disgusting. If I came back to your place, it would be $50,000. And that's still with all my clothes on, douchebag. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Why the fuck are you doing this shit? Why the fuck are you doing this? I gotta use this thing. Give me, give me, it. So the dock worker Manny said he locked up the warehouse at approximately 6.01 p.m. If that was the case, then that means the girls were so... Did you forget something? What's this? That's the missing piece of the puzzle. Apparently the girls did stop off for a bite to eat, followed by a game of pool and an altercation starring our girl Kita. Where exactly did you get this information, Officer Reed? From Kiernan, Kita's sister. <laughs> and you guys weren't able to obtain this information? New stars. She said she spoke to Kita about her boyfriend. And that Come was on, she wasn't thinking straight. She was probably shaken up a bit, but she's Let me remind now. you that you're not the lead detective on this case, nor are you a detective at all. So before you go walking I'm into here, people as a witness, I'm involved in this case. Not a detective. Do you really want to fight with me about this? Or do you want to solve this case? Detective. Picking up hitchhikers now? Her name is Sue Ellen. She probably has lice or something. So Kita intervenes in this lover's quarrel and decides to take Sue Ellen with them. So they weren't friends. Complete strangers, actually. And Ice and Lemon is about 12 miles from that bar. They didn't have much time to get acquainted either. Oh no, they had time. The Black Horse Pike is a parking lot at 5.30. You know, 12 miles can easily turn into about an hour's drive. Damn, man, it sucks to be you. Don't worry, man. I'll take care of your girl for you, all right? Hey, Larry, that girl's your sister. Yeah, I can't. You can if you get the cheap tequila. Yeah, Tom. What are you doing? You getting the dock straightened out? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm cleaning. Very funny. Listen, the girls are going to be there in about 10 minutes. So you got to get the trucks off the dock. It's the holidays. Get them off the dock. Get them parked so the snow plows can get in there. I want that place spotless. Bye. I know these girls going to come. About 10 minutes, I'm out of here. What are you doing? Holy shit, really? Seriously? Uh, what's your deal anyways? And, and who the hell was that dude you were with back there? So you don't talk, huh? All right, well, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, I have an idea. How about we just talk telepathically then? Does that sound good? Unbelievable. The shit I get myself into. What? Y you gonna tell your kid about the devil's child we picked up? <laughs> yep. And where were you? You weren't watching the doc? I was locking up for Tommy, and I was dancing. You were dancing? Yeah, get my groove on. No twerking. You were twerking? Do you fucking see the screen?
screen right now? Do you see it? Isn't that These girls are in there because of you. I want to be the one you need in your life. Let me be the one. I love you, baby. Oh! Just give them a minute. They're probably in the bathroom or something. Dude, can you get the Satan spawn out of my truck? I don't trust her in there with all my shit. She's your prize possession. Don't put it on me. Holly, I'm freezing my ass off. I want to change back into my fucking pants. Go get my bag. Dude, chill out, honestly. God. Damn. Josh gonna settle the score. You ain't seen nothing like this before. Like another night in the crowd will go. Step up. Still nothing. Nope. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just unload this shit ourselves. I already cleared the order, so with or without a signature, it doesn't really matter. nothing else. I need a lawyer. Officer Reed. Yes, ma'am. Get this piece of shit out of my face. Are you kidding? Well, they can't just leave us here. Someone's gonna open the door, right? They're coming back. Yes, you know what? Yeah. Um, might just, uh, might just take be a little while. Be a little bit. Okay. Swollen. Hey, what are you doing? Stand up. It's gonna absorb all your body heat. Stand up, you gotta stay warm. Hey. Yeah, yeah, come here. Do you think this is on? Oh, wow. Well, yeah, it definitely has power. <laughs> Someone's gotta see us. Where are my cigarettes? Smoke. This is what you fucked. Hey! Hey, psycho! Did you go to my bed? Calm down. Did you Calm. go into my bag? Calm down! Alright? Chill! Seriously! She didn't do anything! She can't even talk! Oh, well, she better start talking. Chill we out! Figure something Damn. out! Stop! You really think yelling at her is gonna do any good? Look at her. Jeez. Did you get a signal yet? No. Hey. Hey, come here. I, I think this is a door. Oh, hell no. It is a door. Sweet baby Jesus. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get this shit off here. We'll just save your ass again today. Do you guys have an ETA back to the shop? I'm getting ready to lock up if you want your check. I don't know. Did you try to get him on a cell phone? 
It's on my other ear. It just goes to voicemail after a few rings. I mean, every time I get in the car with this guy, he's insane. He can't drive. I got to tell him to stop at red lights, stop signs. Do you want a different color of green? I mean, it's incredible. I mean, I just, I just don't know what to do. Oh, it's Harry. It's the holidays. You just can't sit and enjoy dinner with your family. Thank you. This girl. She's not saying anything. Not 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 one single word. It's almost like she doesn't even want to be there. You mean like locked in a freezer? You know what I mean. Yeah. Well, she's got a pretty nice record. We've got drugs. Burglary, more drugs, more burglary. <laughs> Looky here, prostitution charges. We've got a mental health record. Oh, this explains exactly what happens next. Throughout! Oh There's God. something right over her head! Right her head! She's having a seizure! Okay, Swan! Hold on! Fuck! Okay, okay! Ow! Fucking beat me! Help her! I'm trying! On the chain of events that you guys just saw, it's obvious that Kita establishes a superiority. The girls are detached from Kita. Hell, Kita's detached from herself. So it's 7 p.m. No one's hurt. Mild hypothermia, but nobody's hurt. Tommy's print? Yeah. 
One of the girls slid it under the freezer door. Obviously, no one found it. According to Tommy, him, his wife, and his daughter were out to go Christmas shopping when he decided to stop by the shop to make sure Manny locked up correctly. And he didn't see the note? No. It was found on the wrong side. Tommy stepped on it. It was right there. I know. And to think that the girls didn't even know that the door was open. It's just, it's just sad. Keita pretty much tried everything she could do. I really don't blame her for not trying again. But the girls didn't hear him moving the pallet, though? That had to make noise, no? We tried it. That was our first question. But between the fans blowing and the eight inches of, of insulation, they couldn't hear a thing. The freezer door had to be open at least two feet just to get phone reception. They didn't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. 8.30. I'm really cold. I can't feel my hands. I can't feel my feet. I'm starting to get a little dizzy. It's 8.50 p.m. According to this, at least. <laughs> I know Scott is worried about me. I know he's looking for me. I know that he's going to find me. He has to find me. I just have to hang on. Just a little bit longer. Just... <laughs> Hi, um, this is Kiernan, Kita's sister. Hey, Kiernan, is everything okay? Have you heard from your sister today? I can't get a hold of Holly. I was about to ask you the same thing. You haven't heard from either one of them? I mean, my sister never came home. Something had to happen. This is not like her. I called the cops. They told me some 24-hour bullshit. They can't even do anything. I've been trying to reach her boss all day, but no one's answering because everyone's gone for the holidays. I don't even know where to start. Let's, let's not get too crazy right now. Kita's infamous for this type of stuff, so let's not think the worst just yet. I'm gonna take a drive, make a few phone calls, and if I hear anything, I'll let you know. You do the same, okay? Okay, Kira, thank you.
This is the knife that entered Holly's shoulder. Holly, Sue Ellen, and Kita's prints are on it. Well, I think it's safe to assume that Holly didn't stab herself. Yeah, if she wouldn't stab herself, it wouldn't be in the shoulder. But I'm willing to guess that is her knife, though. Okay, well, I know I'm not a detective, but why would Holly carry a knife? I mean, we're talking about a girl who doesn't even have a seatbelt ticket. Well, since I am a detective, I believe that she would have a knife. I mean, most people that work with Frey carry knives. They cut ropes, they cut open boxes, they cut all kinds of shit. But this knife, I'm gonna say this is Sue Ellen's knife. I want you to check to see if you got any warrants. I'll be in that neighborhood today. Okay. CAN? CAN. No, he's clean. He's clean? No shit. State police. They're an emergency. Yeah, one of my trucks never returned back to uh, the, to the plant today. I don't know what happened. Could you check it out for me, please? Which area was your truck in, sir? Uh, I believe they were in Runnymede, New Jersey. That's the last I heard from them. They were making a delivery, and I don't know what happened. I uh, haven't heard from them since. Probably all huddled together. Try to keep warm. We pretty fucking want to be anything about us, did
Get away from me! number it should be x11 a x9 okay one second please
فرزی We're gonna die here, aren't we? No. No. Okay, sir, I'm showing that one of our officers did have a stop with this vehicle today. So he just got stopped? That was early today, sir, but I can patch you through to the officer that made the stop. Please do, I, I just want to find out what happened. Thanks. And that's when Officer Collins decided to go look for them? Yes, ma'am. Of time, I 
same knife that stabbed Holly cut off Sue Ellen's arm. So, Kita loses her mind, goes batshit, turns on Holly, stabs her. Sue Ellen intervenes, but there's no other wounds on Sue Ellen. Just her arm's being cut off. Well, there's no way Kita would have cut off her arm while she was still alive. There would have been more signs of a struggle. She had to do it when she was dead. I mean, she had bruises on her body. I mean, we don't know if that was from her asshole boyfriend inside the bar beating her, or if it was from inside the freezer. What we do know is that she needed that arm to push the cell phone down the shaft. She was desperate. You know, those girls had zero choices in there. You know, at this point, I think Sue Ellen had already passed. And Kita saw this as her only opportunity. I don't think she murdered that girl. I really don't. I'm sorry. I got hurt. Step. Kita. Kita. She's not herself. Neither of us are. Sounds to me like Kita did it. What? Uh, it just doesn't match up. I mean, why would Holly be cuddling with Kita after she just stabbed her? If I was that desperate for body heat, I would.
yeah, kinda. <laughs> but that's when I promise myself that I'd always protect you, always be there for you. No matter me what. Too. I know, babe. But I just never want a day to go by that I don't see that smile. I'm gonna do this here. You're seriously doing this right now? Yes, I'm serious. Will you be serious now? I'm trying to. <laughs> Will you marry me? You want that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't yes, say. yes, okay. yes. Which ring? Which finger? Which finger? This one. Okay. You didn't even get excited. The jeweler said I could come back on Tuesday. I remember when you came home from school one day and you told me a bunch of girls were making fun of you and you were just so pissed off that you didn't want to go back. Yeah. Well, when you were crying later, I told you something. Do you remember what that was? You said family is important. That's right. What else? That. As long as you're alive, I'll never be alone. I never thought you said you could save us. I... I... tried. We get out of here. CB. What's up? Um, girls we looking for? Uh-huh. We just got a 911 call from Keita's phone. We traced it to a company named Ice Unlimited. They say we're running meet New Jersey. Attention to all units. We have a 1057, possibly on the two missing girls. Location, Ice Unlimited, running meet New Jersey. Police! 
ID. I need a medevac. Ice Unlimited, Runnymede, New Jersey. Three bodies. I, I don't know. I'm a detective. I'm not a doctor. You got anything? Got any ID? Looks like uh, Kita and Holly. That's our girl, Kita. Like a rain. 